Hi, I'm so excited to share this video about the ocarina. I just started playing the ocarina about, well, I got my ocarina six days ago and I've been playing for five days. I bought two. I bought the Night by Noble plastic ocarina Alto C and I bought this Ocarina Wind Alto C ceramic ocarina and um, the reason I decided to start playing is I was recently just looking for an inexpensive instrument to get into because I play the tuba and it's very expensive so I haven't been able to own one in quite a while and I haven't really had access to play one either. I also play the piano so that's my background with music. I've played the piano since I was a kid and I also started playing brass when I was a kid. I played euph euphonium, baritone, tuba um, through high school and college. Um, but I was kind of having that like that need to play an instrument recently and was looking into some budget-friendly instruments and learned about the ocarina, which is cool because when I was a kid, um, a neighbor actually gave me an ocarina. It was a pendant ocarina, a little ladybug one. And I think it was, I think they had made it. And when I was a kid, like it was really cool. I liked it, but I didn't really realize it was a real instrument. Um, and so I just thought it was like a kind of a fun whistly toy type of thing. But now I'm realizing like, oh wow, you can do so much with these instruments. And so I've been really excited about it. I, yes, yeah, so I've been playing for five days now. I kind of wanted to like, just give a little demo of what I've learned and what I've, and compare these two instruments also. Because I was doing a lot of my own research and, um... It's true, everybody has said that it's an easy instrument to learn and it's really good for like building confidence with music. Um, it's inexpensive, it's easy, and it's really fun. Um, I also want to, I, I am going to compare these two brands and I'm also going to show you what I've learned within five days of playing. Um, so yeah, for me, I did research. I bought these two ocarinas. Good thing this has a strap. <laughs> I bought these two ocarinas and I also bought this book the Hall Leonard Ocarina Method. These were all things that were recommended um, from videos I watched and from like reviews and stuff. But yeah, I finished this whole book within like maybe four days and I felt like, wow, I know how to play this instrument now. This is so cool. It's really a really well done book and it really, really helps you learn the instrument and become confident with the fingering and the different notes. Um, because of my experience with music, I do read sheet music, so I've been able to like read um, from the book. But if you don't know how this book does teach you how to read it, but it will take longer for you to probably learn. Um, but there also are a lot of options out there for reading tabs, which is when they show you. Um, basically, the music is drawn out with these little pictures. This is my scale chart. Um, but yeah, if you want to read music in tabs, it will show you lots of little pictures of ocarinas and show you where the fingering is, um, instead of having like, t uh, regular sheet music. Um, but I'm just going to play, let's see, first of all, just kind of compare the instruments for you to hear. Their pitch is pretty different on both of them. They're both alto C, but they sound very different. This instrument, I think, is, um, has a better sound quality as far as intonation because um, all the notes kind of are in tune with each other, at least, for the scale. Um, but the the C does sound more like a B to me, I think. I think it's kind of like low for a C. I'm not sure, though, because I haven't compared it to... I haven't used a tuner when I'm playing, which is recommended, because if you use a tuner while you're playing, you can kind of adjust um, your airflow to make sure that you're getting the note um, the right pitch. But just compare the C's from both of these ocarinas. So you can tell this one's a lot higher. I'm not sure which one's more in tune, but I think this one. For me, this one, the whole, like the notes are just more in tune with each other. So I'll play a scale so you can compare them. Here's this one first. So 
So around here, these notes, it starts getting really pitchy for me. Um, also, if you're new to ocarina, something I'm learning is that when like it gets hard to play the ocarina or the, the high notes won't come out, usually it's because you need to clear out your instrument. So just do that by covering the fiple and then blowing hard. So yeah, this one, I'll just do it again so you can hear. So the, yeah, it doesn't feel in tune to me. A lot of the notes just feel like sharp or flat and the notes don't really, the scale doesn't sound right, <laughs> but this one it does. Um, so, so far my experience, I recommend this one. This has been recommended for beginners a lot. It's the Night by Noble plastic you can buy on Amazon. Um, and it's been really high quality, really good sound, really easy to play, really in tune versus this one. I wanted to try the ceramic and the plastic and this was cheaper and wasn't as recommended for beginners, um, but I tried it anyways. Um, so it's, it is cheaper on Amazon. You can get on Amazon. Um, it's Ocarina Wind, but the, there are some pitch like intonation issues, which I think, you know, when you have enough experience, you can adjust for that. Like you can blow harder or blow softer or twist or lean forward. There's lots of ways to adjust the pitch, but I do think this is a better beginner instrument and probably just a better instrument in general, but it's fun for me to play both. Um, so yeah, I've been playing for five days now and I want to just give you a taste of what I can do because it's really true that this is an easy instrument to learn, especially if you have experience with other instruments or with music in general. So I'm going to play Danny Boy from the book that I mentioned earlier. And I'm not going to like uh, re-record and try to get it perfect. I'm just going to do a really authentic playthrough so you can hear where I'm at after five days. Um, yeah, there's certain parts I'm still working on, but yeah, just see how it goes so that you can get an idea of what you can learn within five days of playing this. harder to hit the low notes but sometimes I can sometimes I miss <laughs> might need to clean out the instrument I'm still working on um, kind of transitioning into the lower register. So that um, A is the lowest note that this instrument can play. Yeah, you kind of have to adjust your airflow to get the right pitch. And also you have to make sure you're covering all the holes well without squeezing too hard. So you'll be covering every hole, including the two small holes. So I'm still working on kind of like, I've been practicing transitioning from higher notes into that note because it's kind of a hard transition for me and I'm also working on um the kind of like the flow the I guess like the stylistic choices like I am pretty good at tonguing because of my experience with brass and to tongue on the ocarina you just go two 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 when you're blowing but I'm working on like incorporating more like slurs and make it sound more like a song rather than like kind of robotic so I'm going to try again and play some of the higher parts.
Yeah, so I'm practicing those low notes, kind of like flowing into them better. And then also I'm trying to just practice like certain sections so I have more confidence so that the whole song can flow better and have more style. But I'm really happy with how much I've learned just from playing for five days. And so that's why I like I would definitely recommend this instrument to someone wanting to begin learning an instrument, whether you're first time with an instrument or whether you're experienced with other instruments. It's just so much fun. Um, just to compare the sound, I'm going to play the first line on both of these so you can get an idea of the difference between them. I enjoy both of them, but they're just kind of different and I'm learning their different quirks. There's the first section. It will sound very different on this one because they really are tuned differently. Sounds a little bit harder to hit on this one. Let's try again. Yeah, that's feeling very out of tune for me, that G for some reason. Let's try again. So you have to kind of blow faster and kind of tilt it to try to get the G to not be so flat. recommended kind of like on the reviews as like a beginner instrument but it was not recommended on like videos and stuff I watched by people who actually play the ocarina as a beginner instrument um so yeah I would definitely go with this one if you're trying to decide which ocarina to buy first just sounds so much better so it's like I feel like that's another big thing about starting a new instrument is if you can sound better earlier it's really encouraging and you want to keep going so this one um this one and I think other like other how do I say this instruments that are very well made like will build your confidence <laughs> this one is not as well made as this one and so I feel like this one might like if you played it as your first time on the ocarina you might be like a little bit discouraged that you didn't sound very good or something but if you had the right instrument you can sound a lot better so yeah that's just the re kind of a review of these two instruments i would definitely recommend this one for sure for beginners this one was not sounding as good today as it did the last couple days so i think maybe i need to clean it out better like blow it out better um another song i'm learning is from kiki's delivery service it's just really cute i'll just play a little bit of it so you can hear I play it better sometimes and then not as good other times but that's why I'm trying to practice measure by measure and um, I don't know there's so much fun music I'm realizing that you can play in the ocarina I just did not know that there was this whole world of music on the ocarina that I didn't know about like the instrument itself and then all the things you can do with it it's really fun so I highly recommend it if you're looking for an instrument to try out and yeah I think you can learn it you can learn it to play decently pretty quickly and then from there, I'm just going to keep practicing, um, working on like, um, like the transition between certain notes and then working on pieces slower so I can get more comfortable with the notes. And then also practicing lower registers and more like stylized choices of like slurring and tonguing 
but I am in love with the ocarina and I'm so excited to keep playing and keep learning. So yeah, try it out if you're looking for an instrument to try.